You've had a long day. Do you recharge by checking out that new place that opened up? No way. The comfort of your warm bed and silence beckons. Your very own fortress of solitude awaits that you could never imagine exchanging for hyperactive, base-thumping environments. The downside? You've heard the whispers. They call you a loner. But wait, is that a bad thing? We don't think you need to change a thing. Here are a few signs that you prefer to be alone and might even be a born loner. Number one, you're a very private person. Do you prefer to keep your problems or even goals or success to yourself? Do you prefer limited social media use or have no social media presence at all? When it comes to sharing life events, do you like keeping it very vague and nonchalant and maybe even redirect the question to the other person? That's because you're a private person who prefers to handle affairs privately and doesn't feel compelled to share these moments with others. Since you operate on a strict need to know basis with people who you might not be very close to, you limit what you communicate to them, unless you feel it's important. Number two, you feel suffocated in large crowds. Would you rather go out to a vibrant social event or run to your nearest blanket and plop in front of the TV? It's just that you like being alone or hanging out with a select few people that you like and trust. Your idea of a grand old time is definitely not big social events because you don't enjoy them. The unsettling buzzing of people all around you with all the attention and mingling you'd have to do makes you feel overwhelmed. You'd enjoy yourself a lot more if you merged into the background or merged into a novel. Number three, your independence is extremely important to you. Group work. Does this sound like a nightmare to you? You actually enjoy working alone because your independence is so important to you. You thrive on the relaxation, freedom, and empowerment that being independent brings you. You can devote yourself to your task, gain perspective, and be more organized. And you don't have to compromise on your plan or accommodate others. You are willing to express and enforce your boundaries, and you're not afraid to stand up for your beliefs or to act as a lone wolf instead of being a pack member. Number four, your headphones are your armor. Do you wear those bad boys even if you're not playing any music? No matter what others say, it truly is the best tool for protection from social interaction when you need it. And Psych2Go totally gets that. It's a defense mechanism that allows you to be out and about and still keep some distance between you and the world. And it's not malicious. He just needs to be alone sometimes. Number five, you're happiest alone. Your plans just got canceled or postponed. Music to your ears. Now, you may have agreed under special circumstances then, but as the time gets closer, you started to dread the decision, and that's all right. There's peace and tranquility when you're by yourself, and it's priceless for you. So the thought of it being disrupted by plans to go out makes you want to put them on hold, and this actually has amazing health benefits as well. Research shows being a loner leads to good overall health and individual happiness. Number six, you don't enjoy drama? Do you avoid conflict at all costs? Do you find chaos abhorrent and unsettling? You're in good company because loners aren't into that at all. You realize that some people will create drama out of thin air and they live for it. You don't want any part of that and would not intentionally create any by sharing any secrets or private information. While you're aware that you can't avoid conflict forever, you tend to avoid situations as soon as you get a whiff of any unnecessary irrational conflicts. And number seven, you value your time. As surprising as it may seem, you do like hanging out with people you love and enjoy being around. You value your time alone and make as much of it as you can, but you also understand the importance of making time to be with others and to share and make special moments with them. It is because you realize the inevitability of time passing and ending so you don't take it for granted while wasting it frivolously on things that you don't want to partake in. Being a loner isn't always an easy road to go down. The connotations are still negative and so is the representation sometimes. But there will always be those who can peek under your shell because they're fascinated by you and treasure you for who you are. And you don't need to change a thing about your loner status. Did you see yourself in any of these signs? I did. Share your ideas with us in the comment section and see if you find your people. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging with us. See you soon.